Welcome back to GB Guns. We have another box of a different color. Another one from Traditions Firearms. Uh, this is another 45 Colt. Slightly different from some of the other guns you've seen us review. That's what's coming up next on GB Guns. Now there is going to be a wee bit of repeat for those of you that uh, saw the previous from Traditions. But uh, those who haven't, I want to show you something. This is one of the things in the box. You might recognize that name. That's because it's a letter from the Pieta family. Uh, this gun is made by Pieta, just like Cimarron's guns. So although it costs significantly less, uh, it's still the same craftsmanship. It just has some slightly different features. That's what we're about to go over. So also from the Frontier series, this is your classic good guy gun. The one that uh, you might have already seen, I chose to be the yin and yang as the classic bad guy gun, the black and white, nickel and blued. First we'll uh, show clear. This one has a five and a half inch barrel, which makes it a wee bit bigger and a wee bit heavier, and a nickel barrel, and just the stainless steel for everything else. And the steel almost... I mean, it, it's smooth. These do come heavily oiled. Um, I wonder if it's coated or not. And if not, it might actually be kind of fun to get some patina on that. I right, let it age a bit and let it have some character. Now that we've shown clear, let's take our walk around the gun. All the Fire Mountain Outdoors. Great channel if you haven't checked them out. See that nickel plating. Nice and shiny. Barrel is kept fairly clean from markings because it's all tucked underneath down in there you can see traditions Oldbrook Connecticut and Pieta Italy because like I said these are all made by Pieta nice smooth white uh, sort of ivory or pearl inspired grips that loading gate fit it's a little easier to see the step you can feel a little more but uh, not bad. Cylinder has locked very tight. Put the hammer back. Rock solid. That's probably the tightest I've felt of the revolvers we've covered thus far. Now if you're counting and you're not familiar with the traditions guns, there were three clicks instead of the normal four. Those three clicks are one of the minor differences and that's because this action is actually slightly different. If you take a look down in there, see that piece that came up and then fell? That protects the firing pin because this is a naked hammer, whereas the other ones had the pin on the hammer. That protects the firing pin from getting whacked when the hammer is down or when it's not fully cocked. What that means is you can load all six rounds. It's a six shooter that's actually a six shooter with the standard type that have the firing pin on the hammer resting the hammer on a live round and it falling and whacking on the ground could set the round off or even having it that safety cock that that first cock it's not quite enough strength always to guarantee safety so the general rule of thumb and Laura's even in the old Westwood days to save their legs it was loaded one cylinder then empty and then you fill the rest uh, and then as it rotates around, leaving the hammer resting on an empty cylinder, which makes your six shooter a five shooter. These from Traditions are an actual six shooter. I'll get some snap caps loaded in there and we'll check the trigger pull. Now as I finish putting these last snap caps in, just wanted you to be able to hear the click. Still nice and clean. A little bit of rub there. Oh, I'm not seated all the way. Now they're in there. All right. With our Lyman gauge, three pounds ten ounces. Three pounds four ounces. Two pounds nine ounces. 
So right there around three pounds, just like the other guns are. Can't say that hammer sounds like it sure falls with some oomph. That's a solid hit. <laughs> if there was such a thing as NATO primers on 45 Colt, this would be a good gun to test it with. The weight of that pull on the hammer does feel to be a little more. Definitely got to be more solid. And once again, this Frontier line uh, by Traditions is considerably more affordable than uh, some of the other guns out there. That's what sparked my interest in them. May not be as fanciful on the finish, but as far as a gun to get you into 45 Colt and single actions and to, to try with, you know, basically try it out. Because let's face it, folks, these aren't guns that you can go down to your local renter range and ask for. They generally don't have them. I mean, they might in some places. If they do, please let us know in the comments below. There's probably other folks who want to try one out. But otherwise, for the rest of us, our only option is to get one. And uh, the, the Traditions line appears to be one that uh, is a lot more affordable to try out. We'll get these out to the range soon with some of that ammo we've got remaining and uh, let you know what we think of them. Thanks for watching GB Guns. And if you watched this far, you appreciate our format and what we're doing. Or maybe you're waiting to make that really angry comment. Either way, click the big griffin up here to subscribe. The link over here to show you a related video based on what you just watched, or down here is the playlist relevant to this video. Once again, we appreciate your feedback, your comments. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.